The new Red Bull RB20 is shocking. They transformed the most successful Formula One car ever, the RB19, into something completely new. With all the success Red Bull Racing had in 2023, they are not being conservative. A bold move, but is it a good one? Red Bull Racing has been the team to beat since the 2022 regulations were introduced. The design trend they started and certain elements on the car are now on a lot of other cars for the 2024 season. Red Bull deviating from their own successful design is something I didn't anticipate. They could have gone with a few improvements on every part of the car, but keep it pretty much in line with the RB19. However, Red Bull does not reveal the actual car at the launch. This year isn't different. We already know that this launch car will be different from the car that they will bring to testing in Bahrain in a few days. Several parts were blocked with people or shadowed in the pictures we've all seen online. But the visible parts will make the rest of the grid worried. Did Adrian Newey make another best Formula One car ever? As mentioned earlier, the RB20 has moved away from some design trends they themselves invented. The car has several elements from the Mercedes W14 from last year. The RB20 has a similar nose, shoulders, and even a vertical inlet at the side pods. It is nowhere near a zero pod design. It is more of a hybrid between side pods and zero pods. Red Bull's approach has been quite aggressive, and even the drivers themselves are surprised. Verstappen saw the first drawings of the car in Abu Dhabi and was like, wow, that's quite different in a way. He added that the team, despite having a great package, went all out to try and improve it further. Of course, time will tell if it is better than the RB19 from 2023. Red Bull knew that a lot of teams would adapt to the design they had in 2022 and 2023, so they needed to improve. At the end of 2023, some teams came closer and started to fight with them. It remains shocking that they adopted elements from last year's Mercedes car. However, every car has its merits and Red Bull has chosen to incorporate these strengths into their 2024 Challenger. At the front of the car, there is a front wing that is similar to the Mercedes W14. Other teams already moved in that direction, but now Red Bull did too. At the back of the car is the real development. There are Mercedes 2023 shoulders on the 2024 Red Bull and a new side pod design similar to Aston Martin and Ferrari. They didn't exactly copy the Mercedes shoulders, as Red Bull's version slopes sharply downwards to direct airflow to the rear of the car. This is still in line with the downwash side pods they already had last season. The side pod inlets of the RB19 were quite narrow at the end of 2023, but now they made them vertical. The side pods shrunk in size and are now much slimmer than we are used to. As almost every team changed the side pods to an RB19 style, Red Bull racing themselves went in a new direction. The side pods previously featured an underbite design that extended far forward. Now, there is an overbite style side pod that somewhat resembles a wing beneath the mirror. The side pods became a lot smaller and don't have a bulge like last year's car. They might have shrunk the cooling elements and placed them elsewhere in the side pods. The larger shoulders suggest that Red Bull requires them for cooling purposes and for accommodating a vertical inlet. I don't think it is a total Mercedes copy but it is certainly inspired by it. The total engine cover and the air inlet above the driver are also a lot bigger. This also suggests that it is needed for engine cooling. These two changes make up for quite a different car that still has a lot of mystery to it. Red Bull Racing is known for not showing their total car and always ends up being different at testing. The floor hasn't been shown and the back of the car hasn't been fully revealed either. A floor of an F1 car is so important we might see the real game changer here. All the design changes they made could also suggest that the real revolution isn't at the surface, it's internal. The internal parts of the car always influence the design of the bodywork and the way air flows around the car. Adrian Newey stated that they needed to keep pushing in the winter because the rest of the grid came closer to them. He said that they received the expected results from the shakedown, but it was in the wet. He doesn't know if it is enough, but that's the thing about Formula One. Other teams might have made a bigger jump. I can't wait for testing to start and see everything on the Red Bull RB20 for the 2024 season. What do you think? What is your favorite 2024 season car? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.